Are you thinking about moving to Bowie? If so, this video is for you. I'm gonna talk about the 10 reasons why I love Bowie, Maryland. All right, in no particular order, let's kick it off with number one, which is Bowie has a special place in my heart because here's the thing. Our first home that my wife and I got was in Bowie. Like we bought a fixer upper and by fixer upper, I mean, it had a leaky roof. It had mold all over the basement, had fire damage, carpenter ant damage, termite damage, uh, leaking roof, you name it. Everything was wrong with this place. The, the kitchen looked like Halloween. Like the, the cabinets were no joke painted like orange, like pumpkin orange and black. It was kind of atrocious, but it was a great project and a great starter home. And I learned so much about doing a fixer upper. Now we got it looking pretty good. And it was a lot of work, like selling homes during the day, working from 11 to like one or two in the morning, um, in the middle of the night, you know, fixing, fixing the house up. That being said, after we got everything going pretty well and getting married and a couple years later, we also had our first kid there. We also had uh, our second dog there. So there's so many memories and it's always going to be special to me. So that being said, I loved, you know, those first few years with Leo there. We did end up needing more space and, you know, moving on to Annapolis, but you know what? Bowie, you still got a special place in my heart. The second reason I love Bowie is it's a fantastic commuter location. So it's, look, I know, again, Bowie is a pretty large area, but what's nice is you have Route 50 that's going right through it. So it's easy to get onto 50. It's easy to get to 3301. You can also go down 97. Maybe you need to get to Andrews Air Force Space, no problem. Head down 50, hop to 495, and you can get right over there. If you need to go to DC, well, you just head straight down 50, right? Nice and simple. And of course, there's plenty of people who maybe they want to work over at, let's say, NASA over at Goddard. Well, you can just go down 450 and take some back roads, get over 193. So again, it's super convenient. Uh, you know, Bowie is a fairly large area, so it does depend on which piece you're at as far as which road you're going to take. But again, really super convenient, uh, whether it's Annapolis, DC, Andrews Air Force Base, even some people there are gonna work over at Fort Meade. You know, again, it's just a great central location. The third item, why I love Bowie, is all the outdoor spaces and the parks. You know, listen, Bowie is a fairly large area, right? I mean, it's actually roughly 18 square miles in land size, which is pretty big for a suburb type city. You know, 18 miles, that's a lot. Now, that being said, there's actually over 1,100 acres of land that's dedicated towards parks. Like that's a lot of parks, you know, that's a lot of trail system. So it is, it's pretty fantastic. Again, you know, like I said, we raised our first kid there, right? And we love being able to go hit up the trails and some of the parks, you know, Allen Pond being one of the big ones. Allen Pond is fantastic. If you haven't been, you gotta go to Allen Pond. Um, in the last, you know, decade or so, a lot of the playground sets have been refreshed. You know, um, PG actually has done a really nice job on updating a lot of their swing sets and playgrounds and everything else. And we definitely utilize them in a big way, especially working from home, needing a place to go. It was great just being able to take Leo there, uh, take the stroller, go on some of his paths. You know, some of them actually, my wife used to ride her horse and I would ride my mountain bike. It was great. So really love the outdoor spaces there. Big, big plus for Bowie, outdoor spaces in the parks, big thumbs up. And number four, food. Now look, there's no surprise, I love to eat. And while living in Bowie, Bowie served me well on the food side of things. Again, I love food. So you have lots of choices right in Bowie. And if that's not working for you, you can head right over to Annapolis, just head down 50 or head up towards DC. Again, lots and lots of options. Now inside of Bowie, there's a couple places you have to go to. If you like sushi, you totally gotta go check out Ichiban. It is fantastic. Uh, one of the places I used to get takeout from all the time was East Moon Bistro. I love their tofu pineapple curry and also their Thai basil rice. Both fantastic, right? And if you go to Ichiban, make sure you get the shrimp tempura. Really, really good. If sushi's not your thing, then you also got to go check out Anthony's Pizza and Ruby's Southern Kitchen. Now, the other little local favorite I have to mention because just personal favorite is Three Brothers. Now, I know their headquarters is not Bowie. That being said, they do have a Bowie location. I absolutely love their pizza. I love their calzones and their Italian ice. Amazing. So Three Brothers, fantastic spot. Now, if you want more of the chain vibe, that's cool. We have that, right? You have Longhorn, you have Olive Garden. You have plenty of places that you can go to if you need some place to eat. So again, lots of food options, big thumbs up. I love it. Next on our list is shopping. Now look, I don't like to shop. It's just not something I enjoy doing. 
But if I'm gonna do it, I want it to at least be convenient. And really, Gooey has a ton of options. You know, I mean, you have both Home Depot and Lowe's. So if you're doing a house project, boom, you got both. That's pretty fantastic. If you want a grocery store, okay, there's a Harris Teeter, there's an Aldi, there's a Safeway, there's a Giant, you know, there's even a Walmart, there's even a Target, right? So I mean, like, you have everything that you could possibly want as far as the shopping is concerned. You have your more niche stuff, uh, like Mom's Organic, uh, to like some clothing stores. There's all kinds of things. If you want to shop, there is a ton of choices in and around Bowie. So again, that's pretty sweet. I mean, look, I'd rather me just do some of it online or maybe have someone like my wife do it for me because I just don't enjoy it. But if you're gonna have to do it, at least make it easy. And number six, Bowie is pretty rich in history, which is always kind of fascinating to know a little bit about the place that you might wanna live in. So check this out. Did you know that Bowie was not its original name? It was actually called Huntington and it was renamed after one of the previous governors who was president of the railroad system there. Um, it was renamed after him because the railroad piece was a really important part of Bowie. You know, it connected a lot of Southern Maryland coming out through Bowie and it was, it was a big deal. In fact, there is a museum in Old Bowie that you got to go check out that's all about the railroad. So anyways, the, the railroad, super important also. You know, the racetrack that was there, breeding horses and racing, was a really big part of the history. Now, you probably know for the past several years, hasn't, you know, had a lot of love. They did it as a training facility for a while, and it's been kind of dying out over the last couple of years. But supposedly, the word on the street is later this year, the city buoy is actually supposed to be taking over that old uh, racetrack, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. And number seven, why I love Bowie, it's a really pretty layout. It's one of those things where the subdivisions, they have so many mature trees and it's just really nice to drive through and live in. So look, a lot of newer subdivisions I feel are just like all concrete and asphalt and they have a couple tiny little like, you know, I don't know, bushes or trees out front or something. And for the most part, you feel like you're just kind of jammed in there, right? Well, a lot of Bowie is you know, it's, it's a large area and a lot of buoy kind of came out in the 60s when William Levitt revolutionized how a lot of subdivisions were built. I mean, he was a really, really influential person on this and he built, he purchased the Bel Air estates. He did um, transfer a few of like the older homes uh, over to the city so they could keep and preserve it, you know, have it as like a little historic spot. But he just took over a large chunk of land and planned out the whole communities that if you'll notice driving through a lot of the sections, how it's all alphabetical, like all the street names are all the different sections, like the N section and the S section and the M section. And they all kind of make sense driving through. And there's like different playgrounds and tot lots all sprinkled through and they left a lot of trees. You know, it's one of the things that I love is like the lots, the lots for the homes, they're not super tight. They're not really big, but like they're a decent size and they left mature trees. And it's again from the sixties. So a lot of the bigger trees aligned in the roads have all developed and they're, they're really quite lovely. Like some of them, it almost feels like you're driving through a tunnel. So checking out in the spring or in the autumn when the falls are changing, when the fall, when the leaves are changing colors, it's really pretty. And um, again, just, you know, having all that grass in the woods, I'm a big fan. So I totally dig it. And even some of the newer subdivisions, they did make, you know, the county and the city did make some of the developers keep different like little green bands that, you know, to separate some of the spots. So I'm just a big fan of how all the subdivision really kind of feels in, in Bowie. Um, I can't say that about everywhere. So big thumbs up for having pretty neighborhoods. And number eight, speaking of neighborhoods, I love that there's, you know, quite a few choices when it comes to the styles of homes and budgets. So here's the deal. You have all of your Levitt stuff, which we were just talking about, right? And they have a couple of different, you know, two versions of basically split fours and split levels and colonials and Cape Cods and ranchers. So we got all that from like the 60s and 70s. All right, getting near the end of the list here, coming in at number nine is things to do. And you know, like, like I said before, one of the first things I gotta say is just go enjoy the outdoors, go enjoy the space. But if you prefer some other things, then check this out. We have the Bowie Bay Sox. They play at the Prince George's Stadium, which is right behind the Home Depot. And so they're right there in Bowie. And it's nice to have like a nice, you know, minor league team that tickets aren't too expensive and they play right there. So nice and accessible. So that's super cool. Um, there's other events that go on, like for example, over at Allen Pond Park, which is again, nice outdoor space, but they, you know, there are some things that happen there, which is super cool. 
And then, of course, if you like coasters or rides, well, don't forget, Six Flags of America is right in Bowie. It's right over in like that Landover Largo area. Um, so just kind of like on the edge of Bowie, but still Bowie nonetheless. So if you're into rides, coasters, you definitely gotta check them out. Now, if that's not enough, the reality is again, we're not that far from a whole bunch of other things. So totally convenient, plenty of stuff to do. All right, and finally, number 10. Bowie is a great location to be able to go do some day adventures or weekend trips, right? I mean, again, we're right there on Route 50, also right next to 495. So if you wanna do stuff, let's say in DC, go check out some of the museums and all the monuments. Boom, nice and easy. You wanna to go to the beach, no problem. Head on you know, down 50 and go to the Eastern Shore, go to Ocean City. You want something a little bit more, I don't know, outdoorsy, why not maybe head up to Deep Creek Lake up in Western Maryland, or maybe one of the other surrounding areas like, you know, Williamsburg or, I don't know, West Virginia, go on some hiking trails, maybe go to Hershey Park, or maybe go to Bush Gardens or Kings Dominion. Again, so many places that all within, you know, let's say anywhere from 30 minutes to just a few short hours. So if you've been eyeing up some of those places, move to Bowie, great little central location, then go get yourself a little Airbnb. Have some fun, man. Go go explore. Like again, there's so many cool things all in and around this area, and this is a great little home base. All right, that wraps up my top 10 list of why I love Bowie, Maryland. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, shoot us a DM, or give us a call. If you'd like some help moving to the area, we would love to help you, as that is what we do. We help home buyers just like you go find an amazing place to live. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.